Here I've got one of the new drum machine designer kits called up, and I'm going to right-click and create an empty pattern region. Logic's new step sequencer is a grid-based sequencing environment. Let's start by making this pattern 32 16th notes long. That means it'll repeat twice in this four-bar pattern region. Click in the cells as the transport is playing to build up your pattern. Drag vertically to adjust the velocity of individual steps. Drag with the mouse button down to paint in a series of consecutive steps. Click in the cells to remove steps to create interesting rhythmic patterns. Choose from a variety of edit modes to change the steps in any row. Here I'm using note repeat where I drag vertically in the step to set the note repeat value from 1 to 16. Note repeat controls how often the note repeats during the duration of the step. Use the loop start and loop end fields in the inspector to set the start and end of the row relative to the overall pattern. Setting different start and end points on the different rows will create evolving rhythmic patterns. If you're stuck for ideas, choose from some starter patterns in the browser to get you started. The step sequencer is fantastic as well for melodic and bass parts. Use the learn mode to learn only the notes and pitches you need. Switch to 32 steps. The first 16 are copied over and ready for variations. Use the skipping parameter on a per row basis to create evolving irregular patterns. When skipping is on, the step is skipped and playback moves immediately to the next step, in effect shortening the row by the duration of the skipped step. Change playback directions for individual rows to add further permutations to the pattern. Drag any file, loop, or region onto a track header and automatically create a new instrument. Quick Sampler, designed to work with individual audio files, is automatically slicing up this Apple loop and mapping it across the keys. Snap to beats or transients for accurate rhythmic editing. Use the start and end markers to trim to the portion of the file you want to use. Use the crop function to delete the unused portion. Classic mode maps the sample across the keyboard. Set up independent looping. Use the built-in LFO to modulate the loop position. Sync to tempo, set a rate, and choose between unipolar or bipolar modulation. Use the follow tempo and flex function to have it follow the project tempo. Playback at multiples of the original speed. Use the filter and the filter envelope to modulate the sound. Drag any files, loops, or regions over a track header and automatically create a new sampler instrument, the brand new version of Logic's EXS24, with the samples automatically mapped and ready to go. The synth section now has two filters that can be run either in series or parallel. Choose from a variety of new filter types.
Use the new streamlined modulation matrix for easy LFO and envelope routing. Live Loops is a new non-linear way of working where you can arrange and play musical ideas in real time in a grid of cells. Each cell contains a phrase and you can record directly into the Live Loops grid, all in sync with the project tempo. Record into take folders and then unpack to new scenes. Columns of cells are musical sections called scenes that can be triggered together. Option track to copy cells to new scenes. Pattern, audio, and MIDI regions can be freely moved between the tracks view and the cells. Trigger any combination of cells or scenes and capture your performance to the tracks area. Mix and match which tracks you're going to play back from the live loops grid and which tracks from the tracks area. To learn more about these and all the other new features in this fantastic update, Check out Logic Pro 10.5 Update Explained at Groove3.com. This is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert.